I gotta say, at 35 years old, five hours of sleep doesn't cut it anymore. Do you know how many pounds of makeup I had to put on this face to cover the circles? Which I still didn't even succeed at. Anyways, I'm gonna zombie walk myself to work now. So I'm just getting back from work, or I was on my way home from work, I should say. And I get a phone call. Not No, not even a phone call. Text message from Jillian saying that she's just gonna come home and grab some things and she's gonna sleep over at her friend's place again tonight. Hmm, okay, fine. Earlier, I spoke to Kim, who was supposed to come over today and do my hair and, I don't know, edit a video, hang out, whatever. Only to hear from her today, too, that she's not feeling well and can't come. I'm like, is it me? <laughs> is this something I've said or done? My own kid doesn't even want to hang out with me. Another night by myself. Like, there's that Halloween party tonight, which I was like, I'm okay with not going. But I thought that I would at least have Jillian home to hang out with, maybe watch a couple movies or something. And she's bailing on me too. Sucks. And the spider in the corner has two friends now. I think he's collecting them and killing them. Because there's him over there who's been there for a bit and now there's two there that haven't moved. Like they just, they keep going up to that, it's like the Bermuda Triangle or something. They keep going up to that corner and just dying. I need to get the vacuum out and just vacuum them carefully. Oh, I don't understand. Three years I've lived here and spiders have never been an issue in any way. And now the past like month, I've got like a collection of three spiders living up in the corner, dead. I just like crawl up there and die. It's really weird. Maybe I shouldn't go up there with a vacuum. Maybe I'll die too. Anyway, it's dinner for one tonight again. <laughs> it's so exciting. I think I'm gonna make my chicken strip things, which I was gonna make yesterday, but I didn't. I had leftovers instead. So tonight's the night because the chicken's already out and if I don't cook it, I'm gonna lose it. <sighs> That's gonna be the excitement of my night, cooking dinner. Anybody want to hang out with me? Just putting my lunch together for tomorrow. Jillian just texted and she's supposed to stop in at home to grab some clothes, but it won't be until like 10 or 11. So her friend's mom's going to drive her. Um, I'm going to be, I'm going to, uh, words. I'm going to bed. I was up so late last night and I'm exhausted today. I mean, I'm not going to go to bed right now. I'll probably like watch Netflix in bed for a while, but it's it's like it's nine o'clock on a Saturday night. <laughs> I'm such like an old lady. Meanwhile, all of my friends are just arriving at a really kick-ass party, Amy. I'm sure the party is awesome, just like last year, and I really, really wish I could have gone. <sighs> Sorry. Next year. Next year? This is, I'm, I don't know, you'll need to tell me when next year's party is way in advance, whether it's the Saturday before Halloween or the Saturday after, and I'll, I'll work it out. I will not miss it next year because I really wanted to go this year and uh, want pictures. <laughs> Danielle and Monique have sent me pictures. I want pictures from everybody else too because the costumes look awesome, or they looked awesome last year, so I know they'll be awesome this year. Anyways, on that note, I'm out. Goodbye. Good night. Have fun, my friends, without me. I'll survive. I'll be okay. I promise. So, anyways, yeah, seriously. I'm moving on. All right. Good.